to how are we doing it's JJ um, I'm just coming in get myself settled this is gonna be the first segment in JJ's stay at home bushcraft show 2020 now obviously we all know that the bushcraft show has had to be cancelled this year um, for very good reasons and whilst we're all really disappointed with that it's it had to be done for the right reasons and I really feel sorry for David Thompson Andrew T Price and George and everyone behind the bushcraft show and the survival skills magazine as well um, it's the highlight of the year for me and my dad it has been for the last couple of years me and my dad first attended the bushcraft show in 2020 uh, sorry 2020 2018 um, and, and since then, you know, we went last year and we were due to attend this year. Last year, me and my dad did a few sessions um, making hobo stoves for the kids. Um, we called the hats and that I haven't got it on tomorrow, but I'll have the uh, hobo hat on that tomorrow. Um, I, just, I just wanted to make a little video. Oh, the cat's come to say hello. Hello, cat. So yeah, the bushcraft show, it's an absolutely massive event that's a huge part of my life. Um, I've made so many amazing friends at the bushcraft show. Friends that will be, have become friends for life. So many amazing people. And um, the bushcraft community and is, is just a huge part of my life. And what I'm going to do this weekend over a few segments is just try and recreate a little bit of what goes on at the bushcraft show. So I'm set up now as if I would be at the bushcraft show. Uh, the bushcraft show this year was meant to feature La Vu Fest. So I've got the half La Vu set up now. Tomorrow there'll be a full La Vu. Uh, myself and Kerry Tilson, Vixen Bushcraft, we were going to be running that on behalf of um, John Kellen Fody from the Polish and Hungarian La Vu Owners Worldwide group that we both admin for on Facebook. And that was going to be sponsored by Dave Woods from Military Mart. And I'm going to replicate a little bit of that this weekend. I'm going to replicate a little bit of what you see at the Bushcraft Show. So there'll be some different setups over the course of the weekend. I'm going to walk you around. I'll show you the Foul Raven stand. I'll show you the Bushcraft store stand. So uh, knives and that. Billy canteens, Billy mugs, lanterns, all sorts. I'll show you a few bits from the Petromax stand. I'll show you Military Mart stand. Um, so Lavu, Dutch Army Canvas 10, um, LK35, you know, things like that. I just want to try and replicate it because it's a massive part of my year and I would, I would have met up by now with so many people. So this is just a really short introduction. I'm gonna show you some setups over the course of the weekend. I will show you some little stands. I will do some little practical demonstrations on like knife and ax splitting techniques with ax. I'll do um, fire kindling tinder sources and that as well. So as my firebox burns out, I've already had that going for a while. I'm going to tune out for now. And uh, let's see what the weekend brings. JJ Stay at Home Bushcraft Show. Catch you a bit later. Take care. Hey, how are we doing? It's JJ. So this is the second segment of JJ Stay at Home Bushcraft Show. Um, I left the half La Vue out last night and in typical bushcraft show fashion, it absolutely chucked it down with rain this morning. Um, some of the bits inside did get a bit wet, but I just kind of put them to the back. And just to show you how great the, the Polish La Vue is, it's had a proper real, real soaking and it's already bone dry. So second segment, I said today that I would show you a couple of the stands that you'll probably find at the bushcraft show. However, it, it's really still blowing and that today and I don't want my stuff to go disappearing over the back fence. Um, we have got, uh, we got 
the foul raven stand. <laughs> We've got the foul raven stand. So there's just a selection of some of the clothing that you can actually get from from Foul Raven. So we've got like the light lightweight check shirt into their traditional brown and green shirts, like summer shirts that have like the mesh underneath the arms and that. And then we go into like um, autumn, winter, then we've got like a jersey. We got a pullover, pullover. We got my stubborn pack, and then we got the number eight jacket. So there we go, the Foul Raven stand. There we go, there we go. Absolutely great kit. Justin loves a bit of Foul Raven. I don't think that's even it. What else am I missing? I've got a T-shirt that's in the wash, and I've got a little beanie hat as well. Um, so yeah, the Foul Raven stand. Foul Raven stand, absolutely brilliant. Who else have we got here today? So we have got guys all set up for me. We've got the Bushcraft store. Obviously everyone knows the Bushcraft store. Um, it's just down the road from me. And I absolutely love the Bushcraft store. Um, brilliant. Obviously I do some reviews and that for them. And I really get well with the guys and that. So, uh, so it's just a range of stuff that we've got from the, the Bushcraft store. They are stockists of snug packs. We've got the Scorpion 2. They're stockists of DD, so we've got a 3x3 tarp, poncho light, and a magic carpet XL. What else have we got? Furahan paraffin lantern, clean canteen, TBS bottle. Uh, we've got the, the Billy canteen and the, the Billy mug and that as well with their spork. What else have we got? So they stock Kapilka wear, which is absolutely brilliant, fantastic. And then we just got a range of stuff from, these are all mine, okay. Heli, Heli knives, we've got the Egan, we've got the Mandara, we've got Moira S2000, Moira Eldris, and then we go on to the TBS range of knives, TBS knives, we've got the Armour Puko, we've got the Boar, We got the fox, and I've only got one blade out, but this is the double blade TBS Wildcat. Absolutely fantastic range of knives. Um, they have actually got another knife coming out again, a uh, second generation Timberwolf, but we're not going to say too much on that. And then we've got the TBS Possibles pouch. Absolutely brilliant. And they're also stockist of Hulter 4, so we've got the Holt Falls Classic Trekking Axe, now called the Holt Town. And what else have we got? Ah, the bigger baby. We got the Felling Axe. So there you go. So we've got the guys from TBS, the Bushcraft Store, Jim, Andy, Andrew, Doug, and all the other guys, absolutely fantastic. And I love working with the guys from them. And then we've got the Foul Raven stand. <laughs> so there you go. Just another little quick one. I'm going to collapse all this stuff down and pack it back in because the weather is so changeable today. But I'll do another little bit a little bit later on. Catch you a bit later. Bye. Third segment of my uh, JJ's stay at home bushcraft show and uh, I've come round to Military Mart. <laughs> uh, Dave Woods, good friend of mine, runs Military Mart, absolutely fantastic outdoor military surplus range and that's uh, if you're ever looking for some military service that's the military surplus have a, have a check out and that so Let's have a look what we got, what we got. So I've changed, I've taken the half lavu down, um, put up the Dutch Army canvas tent. So Military Mart, they're big suppliers of the Polish lavu, the Hungarian Zeltbarn, and
and the Dutch Army Canvas Tent. I picked this up last year from Dave Woods at the Bushcraft Show 2019. Um, I just recently got from him the Swedish LK35 pack, which I absolutely love. I love that pack, I really do. Um, what we got? A pair of Altbergs. So you can also get a load of boots and things like that, ex-military surplus stuff. What else have we got? Da, da, da. Got something in my back pocket that's digging in. So what else we got? So on, on military mark you can get older loads of ex-surplus kit and they tend to get a lot of um, you know, BCBs, things like that. Um, so you can get these. A Yugoslavian mess kit, absolutely brilliant. Fold out handle, whack that on your burner, mess burner, firebox stove, wood gasifier, gas stove, whatever. Brilliant. Rectangular, bottle fits inside. The lid can be used as a secondary, and that absolutely brilliant. And I love using this; it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, when you go to bush, bushcraft. Um, show any 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 show any show really the amount of stuff that's there is fantastic because it gives you the chance to have a look around a kit that you would not normally be able to see um, you know just online and it, it just gives you the opportunity to get hands on with it and I absolutely love that um, and that's why I ended up getting this last year I was already fell in love with the Lavu and I love the Lavu but just another opportunity to get something different so yeah there you go just a real sort of quick one. Dave Woods, Military Mart, a JJ Stay at Home Bushcraft show. Fantastic. It's starting to rain again. I'm going to tune out. I might do a live little uh, late night segment for you. Catch you a bit later. Bye. Hey, how are we doing? Um, just about to start doing some cooking. Um, for those of my friends that are watching this, I've actually got on Facebook, you would have known that I did a live feed and I actually had uh, my good friend Paul Harvey um, from Campfire Cooking and Bushcraft and Wild Camping UK come and do a live feed with me and he showed us the food that he was cooking but I wasn't quite ready to do my my food and that just yet um one of the great features of going to like the bushcraft show and obviously this is my stay at home jj stay at home bushcraft show is the the, the food um that, that's available is absolutely amazing um, there's always a load of great vendors at the bushcraft show but in the community itself one of the one of the best things is that there are some amazing cooks out there um, a really good friend, Paul Harvey. You can find him on um, Instagram as well. Um, Campfire Cooking 101. He is the bushcraft campfire cooking god. He really is. He really is. Um, I've been lucky enough to meet him a few times and sample his food, and it's absolutely fantastic. So. I normally like a bit of a cook up and um, I haven't got my dad here today so I'm going to change my hat and um, I'm going to put on my hat. Sorry there's a car pulling out from behind where I am. So I would be at the bushcraft show with my dad and this is my hat that I'm wearing normally when I'm with my dad doing the firebox hobo stoves. So it's got loads of pin badges on it from when I'm with my dad. I hope that car pulls out. So we're gonna pop that on. Got me uh, my Bushcraft Wildlife hat on. Firebox is going nicely. Let's just get that windbreak behind it again. That's not going too badly. Just gonna pop 
pop that on there. I've got my daughter sitting down over there. I'm going to ask her just to take some pictures here and there while I'm doing this in a minute. So we're just going to let that pan heat up. Just going to pop a little bit of oil in there. Obviously I've just done the actual pepper. There's the salt. And we're just gonna let that die down a bit. It is just gonna smoke off a bit just because this hasn't been used for a little bit. It's probably going a little bit too much, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I've got some steaks on the go there. I'm just gonna get some chestnut mushrooms. I'm getting smoke in my eyes. Chestnut mushrooms done. Um, the rest of the food's actually cooking in the oven, but you know what? This is a bit of backyard bushcraft. I'm, I'm doing the main ingredient, which is the steak and the mushrooms. Yeah, it's just burning off. That's just a little bit too hot. That doesn't matter. That's going to start to die down in a minute. I'm literally just going to cook these steaks for a couple of minutes, and that's uh, that doesn't matter. I really miss being with my dad. I'm actually just going to um, have my dinner and give him a buzz because my dad, I know, would be really missing being at the Bushcraft Show. So, um, nice little bit of steak. Definitely too hot, but you know what? That's starting to die down now, so that's good. That's good. I'm not going to add any more wood to that. Just been using um, the wood that I actually cut down into staves using the, the ag safety techniques that I did in a previous segment. So I've been using all of this on the on the firebox stove. Just gonna pop that on there. Yeah, some of the food that's actually on at the bushcraft show is absolutely amazing. Um, bison steak and all sorts and that just. We went with so much food last year and we just spent so much time up at the uh, the, the main arena We just ate loads of food up there and really didn't use much of the food that we'd actually brought with us so um, Trying to make a concerted effort to actually cook on this This evening Tissue Right, let's get these on there's three of us here, so I'm hoping that I can actually get all three of these steaks. Lovely bit of sirloin. And let's get the other two on. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, do you know what? I'll just get all three of these in there. Spot on. And then in here, there's actually some garlic butter. I've just got a little bit of oil in there. And we're just going to add these couple of blobs of garlic butter. And then we'll just dispose of that over there. Another couple of, oh that's quite big, another couple of staves just because it's died down just a little bit, just to keep that going, don't want to ruin a steak. Where'd my hat go? That'll go again. Get that in there. Last couple of bits on there. T 
typical. You want it at a certain temperature to get to that point and then it just dies down a bit more. I do actually like really sort of cooking when I'm at camp. Um, it's just a really good thing to do. Um, you, you can't beat the, the smell and the aroma that actually you get from the food that you cook there. And that, uh, what I'm going to do is this is just going to get going on that again. I'm just going to quickly pop you up and pause. There we go, we are cooking again, so we've just got that going properly in that again, nicely, nicely. Just going to get some oil, just so I can rest the steaks afterwards. Smoke in my eyes. Oh yeah, now we're talking, look at that, absolutely lovely, try and get some pics put in amongst this and that as well, that garlic butter, oh it smells lovely, I do enjoy going to camp and actually tasting people's food, so I've mentioned Paul Harvey, um, but also my good friend Alexandra De Rocha, Be Outdoors, he's an amazing camp cook and that as well. The stuff he does is absolutely fantastic. You need to check out his YouTube channel, Be Outdoors, absolutely brilliant. I'm take one out. Someone wants one done not too much. Turn that handle, that's getting a bit hot. Also a good friend of mine, you can find him on, on uh, Facebook. Oh, Alan Bolger, absolutely brilliant camp cook as well. Look at that, absolutely lovely. Hopefully my daughter will come and get some more pics in a minute. Yeah, 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 I'm recording. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right, I'm going to take that one off and then we'll do mine because I just like mine done a little bit more. What I'm going to do is just add some of the mushrooms. Smoky in my eyes. Makes a bit of a change from spam and mushrooms, doesn't it? Steak and mushrooms. Or noodles. We all know Justin loves a bit of the noodles. Whack them mushrooms in there. Steak chips doing in the oven. Oh, Woo. flambe, flambe. Right, steaks off. Let me show you that. Oh, three lovely, lovely steaks. Take them off. Gently wrap them up. Maybe just need a little bit more tin foil. Where's the tin foil gone? Lovely, lovely, lovely. to just whack the rest of these mushrooms in. Seems a shame to just leave them in the panic. So uh, steaks are down there. My kiddo is just going to come and take some pics. There we go. 
Showing the kids the lovely, lovely pics of the steaks. Nice. And then we just, oh, these are going absolutely lovely. Just give them a turnover. Did the free ingredient meal, uh, the free ingredient cooking challenge the other week. That was, that was absolutely fantastic. And that, they're doing nicely. Done in the garlic butter. Absolutely spot on. Top job. Wrap them back up. The rest of the food is done. The same, when we're at the bushcraft show, we will be doing some cooking if we're trying not to eat everything out of the vendors. Um, so yeah, just want to do this segment. It's a little bit of a longer segment, this one. Do like a mushroom, do like a mushroom. So I'm filming and I've got my, 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 my daughter Paige taking some pics and that as well. Oh my days, they are lovely. Right, that's it. Job done. Let the firebox go. Pop that down. I'm gonna go and eat this. I'll catch you a bit later. Cheers. <laughs> yum yum yum. We have so many mushrooms because James had it. take my hat off so you can actually see me a little bit better this is the last bit of JJ stay and bushcraft show 2020 firebox has been lit one last time lanterns have been lit set up with a full lavu which is what I would have been staying in this weekend at the bushcraft show and um, taking part and Organising the Lavu Fest, sponsored by um, Military Martin Dave Woods, in conjunction with the Bushcraft and Survival Skills magazine, and that's still going to go ahead at some point when the show does come back, um, which will be the right time when we can all gather around a campfire safely. We will have Lavu Fest, and um, whether that's this year, we don't know yet. It's still still too early to say. But if it's next year, we'll have our friends around a campfire and we'll, we'll sit down and we'll catch up and we'll share a drink. I've had great fun sort of doing this over the weekend. Um, I've been doing live segments, catching up with friends. People have been tuning in. I've done a, a live link with my good friend Paul Harvey. I've cooked. I've done different setups. And... Um, I've, I've just tried to sort of touch base with my friends in the bushcraft community because you know what you mean a lot to me and um, it, it really means a lot people interact with me I love the interaction I, lo I love meeting my friends at the show and each year that I go to the show I make new friends and uh, they become part of the family and uh, yeah yeah I've kind of missed it this year and um, me and my dad will be there when it happens And we'll have fun and we'll catch up and we'll pass on skills and we'll share knowledge and then that's a big thing of what I do I like to sort of share what I do pass on the knowledge that I learn from others not just myself and, and that's a really big thing for me it's, it's something that I've learned from a good friend Alexandra DeRocha from Be Outdoors um, check his channel out I would have been catching up with people that I've not actually met that I've had a lot of interaction with on the channel and in Facebook groups um, and, and that'll happen at some point, you know, it will happen um, it's, you know, it's unprecedented times but it is what it is, we make the best of it, we move on we do what we can, we do a bit of backyard bushcraft so this is my last little bit, I'm not going to waffle on too long and I, I've had great fun doing this. I hope you enjoy watching this. This is probably going to be uh, a much longer 
video when it goes on on YouTube than normal it's probably going to be around 30 35 minutes and I hope that you actually take the time to watch it all so you can just uh, get a little bit of what actually happens at shows and specifically the bushcraft show so if you do watch it all make sure you leave a comment hit that like hit the notification bell so you know when I've got a video coming up and uh, I look forward to sharing the next few videos that I've got already lined up for you. So from from me, JJ, to all of you, you stay safe out there. You keep healthy. Keep doing your thing. Stay in touch with people. That's what we do right now. Okay? And then we can all meet round a campfire. We'll make it special. We'll make it count. We'll make it happen. So until the next time, stay safe, my friends. You take care. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch up again soon. I'm going to go now because this arm's getting really warm. See you later. Bye.